education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Fundamental Counting Principle The relationship between the number of possible outcomes and the number of decisions to be made. If we have k decisions to make, while there are first decision and sub 1, second decision and sub 2, third decision and sub 3, and k decision and sub k, or it means we need to decide fourth times, fifth times, sixth times. So it means first term or the n sub 1, that is the first decision, times the second decision n sub 2, times the third decision n sub 3, times the n sub k or the k decisions to be made. So let us apply the fundamental counting principle in this problem number 1. Rona is a grade 10 student of a certain school. Her father drives her to school before 7 a.m. Due to heavy traffic, her father considers options to arrive in school on time. So there are two routes from their house to plaza. So we have two routes from their house to the plaza area and three routes from plaza area going to school. So our question is, how many ways can Rona can go from her house to school? So kung isa-isay natin yung route going to school, so first from house, first route, plaza, and then we have the first route, second route, and third route going to school. So we have three ways. If that is from house going to plaza in a second route, and then from plaza to school, so we have first route, second route, and third route. So we have another three ways. So that is six ways. In a solution, in a fundamental counting principle, that is uh, from house to plaza, we have two ways. And then one, two, three, from plaza to school, we have three ways. So it means two times three. The answer is equal to six possible ways from house going to school. In example number two, your favorite fast food lunch, a student combo which consists of an unlimited rice meal, dessert, and drink for 50 pesos. They offer the following choices. The rice meal, tocino, and longanisa, we have two options. While the yema, pulburon, and chocolate, we have three options. And then the drinks cola and juice we have two options the question is how many combos are there so if we try to have the first combo to sino yema cola longanisa yema cola so we have two combos so what if the other combos like full brown chocolate or juice so do you think how many combos are there so the easiest way to solve using the fundamental counting principle in a rice meal we have two. Yema pulburan chocolate, we have three choices for the dessert. And then two choices for the drinks, so times two. So the possible combos are there. Two times three is six times two. That is 12 possible outcomes. How about number three? Four different books of math, English, values, and science are to be arranged on a shelf. So there is no restriction because based on the problem, how many arrangements are possible? So first, we need to identify how many books. So the books are four. So it means using the fundamental counting principle. So first, decisions to be made, we have four. And then, kung na-fill up na, na 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 yung math, so we have only three choices to be made. And then, kung na na yung English, we have two decisions to be made. And then, science, last one. 
that is one decisions to be made so so let us see how many arrangements are possible so it means we need to multiply 4 times 3 12 times 2 24 times 1 that is equal to 24 different ways so it means in first arrangement there's a possible math english value science another arrangement may be english value science and math third arrangement may be value science math and english so if we fill up or if we write all the possible ways so makakabuo tayo ng 24 different ways how about number four you are taking a math quiz that has six true or false questions if you answer each question and leave none of them blank the question is in how many ways can you answer the whole test so in question number one we have true or false question same with question number two three four five and six so it means in question number one the decisions to be made is two because we have true or false so question number one two decisions to be made question number two also two decisions to be made question number three two question number four two question number five two and question number six that is two so in how many ways can you answer the whole test so if we multiply two times two times two times two times two times two the answer is equal to 64 different ways because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, times 2 that is 64 different ways. How about number 5? Find the numbers 1 to 10 if two numbers are taken at a time. So first we need to identify how many numbers to be taken, that is 2. So how many numbers? That is 1 to 10. So we have 10. So in the first decisions to be made, first numbers that taken at a time, that is 10. Well, kung napili na yung one of the numbers, we have only 9 choices. So 10 times 9, the answer is equal to 90. How about number 6? How many two-letter code words can be formed from the letters of the word charity? First, we need to identify how many letters. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Afterwards, let us identify, based on the question, we need to get the two-letter code words. So there's a possible that we get C or H, or H and A, A or R. So how many possible ways or how many two-letter code words can be formed from the letters of the words charity? In the first decision to be made, so it means we have seven, seven letters. So first decision, seven. Second decision, it is only six if we filled up the first letter. So seven times six, the answer is equal to 42. How about number seven? There are four pupils who enter a bus with only three empty seats. In how many ways can these pupils be seated? So we have four pupils, but then three empty seats are available. So what could be the solution? So first, first empty seats, we have four, pu uh, four pupils na makikipagunahan kung sino yung makakaupo dun. So four. So kung nakaupo na yung isa, in the second empty seats, so tatlo na lang. In the third empty seats, dalawa na lang. So it means, uh, how many ways can these pupils be seated? So it means 4 times 3, 12 times 2, that is equal to 24. 24 ways can these pupils be seated. In problem number 8, in how many ways can the integers 1, 2, 3, 8, 10, and 12 permute if take 2 at a time? Based on the following numbers, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers that we need to take 2 at a time. So, 2 decisions to be made. So, in our first decisions, we have 6 numbers. So, kung naka-fill up na yung isa or nakuha na yung isa, in our second decisions to be made, so we have only 5 options. So, 6 times 5, the answer is equal to 30.
In national election, officials were called as mayor, vice mayor. Suppose that were eight candidates qualified for the said position, in how many ways can they be chosen? So it means first, we need to identify how many positions. So the position is two. So the qualified candidates, that is eight. So it means to become a mayor, so we have eight options. So kung na-fill up na yung candidates para maging mayor, so we have seven options. So, 8 times 7, that is equal to 56. How many three-letter code words can be formed from the letters of the word amity? First, we need to identify how many letters. So, we have 5. A-M-I-T-Y. And we need to get three-letter code words from the word amity. So, it means in the first letter code words, we have five choices. Second letter code words, we have four choices kung na-fill up na yung one of the letters. And then, in the third letter code words, we have three choices. So, it means 5 times 4, that is 20, times 3, the answer is equal to 60. Instruction, answer the following questions using fundamental counting principle. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.